Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick uh, outlook at the um, future of your operating system and how to get ready for what's coming. So of course some of you, 30% uh, or so, are still on the anniversary update waiting for careers update. Well, if you're in that mode waiting for careers update, this video can also serve you because the same rules will apply. If you're in careers update, well, in about a month's time, there's going to be a new um, update called the fall careers update that will be rolling out. This, of course, is a big update. And with all of that, I always have a set of recommendations to prepare yourself for major updates. And um, that is something that, of course, a lot of people have difficulty with. It is something that I see that very little people take the time to do it. And when they lose something, well, they get mad and they, you know, just raise hell. So what do you need to do to prepare yourself for what's coming with the fall careers update? Well, technically, the most important and pretty much only thing that is the most important is back up your system. Backing up is something that is important. Now, there are several ways to back up your PC and it depends what you have. So if you, of course, answer yes to the question, if I would lose my pictures, my documents, the things I have in my PC, it'd be really hell. First of all, you're answering a question that a backup should be done because it's important. Now, what type of backups you can do? Well, you get yourself you know, an external hard drive or a big USB thumb drive. And if you go into all settings, you can actually use a feature that's already in Windows. In the update and security, you will have on the left side backup. And here, in backup, when the hard drive is, or a big USB thumb drive is there, you can actually click add a drive. And this will actually do something called a file history, a backup using file history. The beauty of file history is that it does it automatically. So once you've done it and set it up once, after that, it will back up everything, every, you know, changes you've done incrementally on the hard drive by itself without you doing anything, which is cool. If you don't plug in your drive often enough, file history also has a little nice little feature that is simply, um, you know, it's going to pop up a window. It's going to say, hey, it's been a long time since we backed up. So that's one thing you can try. Now you're saying, okay, but I have to buy a hard drive or a thumb drive or big enough for all the stuff I have. Is there some other solution? Well, there's something called OneDrive on your PC. There's an icon on the bottom right. And of course, you can actually manage the storing and manage what you can actually back up with OneDrive. So that's another thing that's important. So by actually using OneDrive, you can actually back up all of your files in the cloud. Uh, that's another way, but there is a limit. The OneDrive backup is limited to, I believe, five or seven. I don't remember if it's five or seven, but it's a small amount of gigabytes, which means if you have a lot of stuff, it might not be a good idea. But if you have only, you know, a couple of hundred documents and things like that, it might be more than enough to back up on a, for a lot of people. And uh, of course, if you need more space, you can uh, purchase some space for OneDrive, or you can also um, basically, um, you know, subscribe to Office 365. You'll have the, um, you know, um, word processor, Word, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, things like that. And you'll have one terabyte of storage, like I do, which is more than enough for most people. Uh, lots of pictures. You want to back up lots and lots of pictures. One of the things that you can tr check out that will back up your pictures is the Google Photos app. So what you could do is go into the Google Photos and download Google Photos from photos.google.com slash apps. Here, you actually download Google Photos and this will back up your pictures and your pictures folder. Um, no real limits, except that if you want to have your pictures being full size, full quality, yes, you will need to add storage. But for most people, this storage can be good enough to back up. But of course, 
having an external hard drive is a good idea, even if you back up to the cloud. Uh, remember, backing up is an essential part when we actually move on to uh, other operating systems. Apart from that, of course, try to keep your PC as junk-free as possible. Don't install too many software, too many things at the same time. Um, the cleaner your operating system is, the better the chances it will happen. So how will the update appear for the Fall Creators update? It will appear through Windows Update once again. So you'll have something that's going to download in one of your updates and then it's going to say, oh, I need to restart. And the difference with a regular, say, cumulative update is that cumulative updates take, you know, a few minutes to install and that's pretty much it. This update, being a very big update, will take a long time. It could take a, an hour, an hour and a half. It will be a longer time of upgrade because it has many changes through what is uh, basically the um, operating system as it adds new features and changes some of the basic functionalities. Now, you're thinking, okay, there's going to be another update. I'm going to be totally lost. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, you know, will I be able to find myself around? And yes, don't worry. You see what you see here. This is pretty much Fall Creators update right now. There isn't that many changes. There's cosmetic changes and there's a few changes in the settings and things like that. But overall, and you know, Microsoft Edge is improved, but overall, there ain't that many difference. Uh, anybody that went to um, creators update from anniversary update and are not really tech enthusiasts, just looked at their system and said, why the hell did it take so long to update? I don't see a difference. It probably is going to be the same for most people when we go to the fall careers update. I don't see any difference. But of course, there are quite a lot of new little things in there. But for most people, a lot of these will be either unnoticed or totally unused features. So uh, prepare yourself slowly as a new update is about to arrive in a month's time, a little more maybe. And uh, that will be, of course, the next version of Windows 10, as Windows 10 is a operating system that's updated all the time. And first, uh, last, I mean, but not least, I always get this information. When will Windows 10 be ready and finished? It is a ready and finished operating system. It's just that it is a new way of distributing Windows, which is called Windows as a Service. It's a operating system that gets updated all the time. So basically, you will always, uh, twice, um, twice a year, get updates that will actually add new functionalities, change some, and um, you know, um, change a little bit also the design as we go through the different uh, versions of Windows 10. And will Windows 10 Fall of Creators update be free? Of course it will. If you have Windows 10, all of these updates are free and there's no problem there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching our videos.